Hey everyone, my name is Greg, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to build your own coding assistant for VS Code using the ChatGPT API and Python. Let's look at what the final product will look like. This is pretty close to Hello World with the ChatGPT API, but once you've written it, you can run it in a terminal right alongside your code in VS Code, and you'll have a powerful assistant that can answer questions about the code that you're writing right there in your editor. So let's look at how you build it. Set your API key as an environment variable, pip install the OpenAI library, and import it at the top of your code. Then we'll create a blank list of messages. You can think of this as sort of the chat history. And a message inside the chat history is a dictionary that has two attributes. The first is role, which indicates where this message was sent from. And the second is content, or the message. Here we're doing a system message, which is basically silent instructions to the assistant. And once we've created that dictionary, we will append it to our chat history. Next, we set up our loop that's just gonna run in perpetuity, and we will collect a new message from the user using input, which will just ask, prompt the user for input and wait until they hit enter. Once we have that content, we'll construct a new message in the form of a dictionary, this time the role will be user, and we're going to use the content that the user inputted on the command line. And then we will append this message to the messages list or our chat history. So now our chat history has two messages in it, the silent system instruction and the first message from the user. We can now make our OpenAI API call. And we are going to hit the chat completion endpoint. You need to pass in two parameters to the chat completion. The first is model, GPT 3.5 turbo is the base. You may also have GPT 4 access. You also need to pass in the messages list uh, so that it has the context. You'll get a lot of data back in that response. The part that we care most about for now is the text of the reply or the content of the reply. Uh, and that will be in the first element of the choices array. We're gonna look for the message and then pull out the content of that message and store it in a variable called reply. Then we can print the reply and we'll just add a couple new lines to the beginning and the end. And after we printed the reply, we'll wanna construct a new message, this time an assistant message, because this is a message from the assistant. So we'll set the role equal to assistant and the content equal to the reply that we got back. And again, we will append this message to the chat history or the messages list. And then we're done. So now to use your coding assistant, you just open up a terminal, you run your script, and you have the full power of ChatGPT right there in your developer environment. This is just scratching the surface of what's possible with the ChatGPT API. Subscribe for more machine learning and coding tutorials each week on this channel.